this is Teresa again with Benton County Environmental Division and we're here at the County Rain Garden on 14th Street in Bentonville. I want to introduce to you Miranda. She's one of our master naturalists that helps us out with maintenance. Hi Miranda. Can you tell us a little bit about what a master naturalist does here in Northwest Arkansas? Well, sure. The Master Naturalist, it is hard to say, uh, is a large statewide organization. Uh, we're a group of volunteers. We get a good amount of training. Uh, and our mission is to uh, keep the natural state natural. We want to keep uh, things growing, we want to keep uh, animals thriving, and we want to encourage other people to do so. Uh, we do that through educational programs, uh, through volunteer projects uh, like gardening, or bluebird nest monitoring, or uh, working with butterflies, removing native, native plants. Uh, pretty much anything that is natural, uh, we are involved in. Do you uh, have very many rain gardens around Northwest Arkansas that you help with? The Master Naturalists uh, have some official rain garden projects. Uh, we have this one here. Uh, we have another one at the Springdale, uh, Lake Springdale Trailhead. The Razorback Greenway runs through there, so there's a lot of bike traffic. Uh, Rogers has a butterfly park which also performs some of the same duties as a rain garden. Uh, we have gardens at the Botanic Garden of the Ozarks um, and kind of peppered throughout wow. the, the area. All over the place. As you can see, it's pretty busy here on 14th Street. So how does that benefit the master naturalist or anybody that might want to come see a rain garden um, having it more public like this. Oh yeah, this is a great spot um, because I have driven by here a thousand times and it's really easy to just stop by. We've got this beautiful shade uh, which is really important right now from the willow tree. Uh, we have our red bud here um, and this is honestly just a nice little shady spot to take a break to look at some of the plants um, and it's one of these places um, you can't miss it, it's right here. You don't have to make a special trip. You probably are driving past it anyway. So Miranda, um, you know so much about native plants here in Northwest Arkansas. And I thought you might want to share with our followers a little bit about some of the most common ones that they may see or might like to plant in their own uh, yard or rain garden. Oh, sure. Um, I'm not, certainly don't consider myself an expert on plants native or otherwise, but um, I do love them and I'm a big hiker. So when I see plants out in the woods, I want to know what those are. Uh, so I do have a, an affection for native plants, let's say. Uh, but in gardens, I think the one that people really love, um, that they'll see a lot of, are the different varieties of milkweed. Um, one, because once they get established, they do grow fairly easily. You've seen how uh, we started in the spring with, oh, maybe there'll be some here, maybe there'll be some there, and we've kind of got them everywhere. They've really yeah. sort of come up and flourished. Uh, they're reacting well to the drought, uh, so that- Yeah, they seem to be one of the plants that is staying alive, so that's yeah, great. That's a big plus. And uh, they are a host plant for monarch butterflies. Uh, and we all love those pollinators, the monarchs in particular. Uh, so one of the things you do have to understand is that your milkweed may become a host for monarch butterflies, which you want, uh, which also means the caterpillars will eat them. Yeah. Uh, but if you don't have monarchs, they do produce beautiful flowers. So those are, I would say, are your number one. Uh, maybe the number two are the purple cone flowers. They have kind of a little, a little scrubby orange inside and then the purple petals that sort of come down. Uh, that's also, uh, the scientific name is, it's echinacea, which uh, people who do supplements have probably heard of. Uh, but that's another great butterfly plant. Um, it's another great, fairly drought tolerant plant. And that purple color is super pretty. And that's one too that if you're out hiking um, just about anywhere, I know Lake Weddington for sure, 
uh, those will grow in the woods. So it's nice to be able to kind of bring a plant that you know exists naturally uh, and sort of help that grow and thrive wherever right. you are. And it's good for our environment to have the natural type plants too, I would think. Yeah, those plants aren't like the milkweed. Uh, they're used to being here. They're well adapted to our climate. Um, and while it's extremely dry now, it does tend to be dry here in the summer. So these are plants that develop really deep roots, which is great for preventing erosion, for things like rain gardens to slow the rain down. Uh, but it also means the plants are going to thrive in our weather and our area. That means they're going to uh, be familiar plants for our native insects um, and our native birds. Right. So uh, yeah, native plants are really important. We're just really fortunate to have the Master Naturalist help us out with our rain garden. And we hope that you will uh, click the link in our bio to uh, watch our YouTube video about uh, our rain garden and the Master Naturalist. And uh, maybe check into the Master Naturalist. It might just be right up your alley.